Hey, this is Mehdi with Full Stack Library and in this video I'm going to show you how to drag and drop a folder into Netlify to deploy static touch manually. First, we download a theme from the website html5app.net. Then we unzip it. In my case, I copied the folder in this location right here. You can change the name of the folder if you want but will not take effect on the name of the site. Okay, now let's just open netlify.com to access to the dashboard. Log in with my GitHub account, click on GitHub, then type your username and the password. And we'll move the folder into Netlify, drag it into the dashboard, wait until it's uploaded. And we have got a check it mark on the first step. One, your site is deployed. And for the second step right here, we have to set up a custom domain. We will not go through this step on this lesson, we'll do it in separate lesson. As you see here, we have a generated URL with the random name.netlify.com, which is used as a subdomain.netlify.com. Okay, let's just click on the link and voila, the website is deployed. Simple as that. Okay, we'll move to the dashboard again. Let's now go to settings to change the site name. So in this section right here, site information, we have the site name owner API ID and all the interesting information about the deployed site. Okay, let's just click on change site name button and choose any name you want. I'll choose the name web dev. Hit save. And I have right here, the site name is already taken. So if you choose any taken name, you will always have this error. Let's just go for full stack library app. You can use a hyphen as a separation. Okay, save the change. And we have got a full stack library dash app as a subdomain .netlify.com. Open the URL and it works. And if we go here at the old deployed URL and refresh it, it will not work because we changed the name. The new name takes place of the older one. And this is how we deploy a site manually by dragging a folder into Netlify. Now that we successfully deploy a site manually by dragging a folder into Netlify dashboard, I would love to hear from you on the comment section if you have successfully deployed a theme manually. 